Businesses have now been forced to close and sterilize this week after reporting positive coronavirus cases with their staff. Good Tuesday evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Western Mass News at 10 on Fox 6. I'm Chris Pisano. Tonight we hear from the director of the Holyoke Board of Health on how the city is handling things. Western Mass News reporter Leon Purvis joins us now live outside City Hall with more. Leon. Chris, just today, Nick's Nets announced that one of its employees tested positive for coronavirus. Now, this comes a day after Target at the Holyoke Mall announced two of its employees got it this month. Now, the Holyoke Board of Health Director, however, says the city is staying on top of the situation. On Tuesday, Nick's Nest closed after an employee tested positive for coronavirus. They announced it to their customers via Facebook. Holyoke Board of Health Director Sean Gonzalez says they like to get things right when it comes to COVID-19. We work with the employer to make sure that we have the right information, and then we, we fulfill the, the contact tracing side to make sure that other people aren't exposed or additional people need to be um quarantined or isolated. Target and Holyoke closed on Monday after two employees tested positive for coronavirus this month. The store then underwent a deep cleaning. They were closed for a full day and they sent me at my request a comprehensive description of all the areas they cleaned. Gonzalez says it is safe to shop at Target in Holyoke. He tells Western Mass News the chances of a customer contracting coronavirus while shopping there is low. The likelihood that a customer was within six feet of an employee for greater than 10 minutes is very slim. The retail store was able to open Tuesday based off of required guidelines. They're only required to close to sanitize, um, never for more than 24 hours just on the basis of a positive or a presumptive positive. For the employee testing positive at Nick's Nest, those guidelines are different for restaurants. For places like restaurants, the guidance specifically says close for 24 hours and then sanitize in accordance with CDC guidance. Director Gonzalez says when Nick's Nest is able to reopen, it will be safe to get a hot dog from there. There is still no evidence at this time that COVID can be transmitted through food. So eating at an establishment that has a COVID positive in, you know, uh, recently, you're not going to get it through consumption of food. It would still be based off of exposure to an employee who was positive. Uh, but, you know, if you eat a hot dog at Nick's Nest, there's no risk uh, of, of getting ill. Now, Holyoke is a red city, according to Governor Charlie Baker's COVID-19 map by town. Gonzalez says folks should be cautious regardless if they w live in a red or yellow city. Live in Holyoke, Leon Purvis, Western Mass News. Leon.